In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with AA similarity. In example A, it says, determine if the following two triangles are similar. If so, write the similarity statement. So, one way to show that two triangles are similar is using AA similarity, which stands for angle-angle similarity. And what it means is if you can show that two pairs of angles are congruent between the triangles, then the triangles must be similar. So already between these two triangles, I see one pair of angles that's congruent. Angle E is congruent to angle L because they're both 102 degrees. Now the other two angles don't seem to match, 30 and 48. But before giving up on this whole problem completely, keep in mind there is a third angle in each triangle, and perhaps the third angle will match with the other angle. So let's figure out the third angle. So remember that the three angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So if we want to find angle G, we should do 180 minus 102 minus 30. And we get 48 degrees. So that means angle G is 48 degrees, which matches with angle N. So we also know that angle G is congruent to angle N. So because there are two pairs of angles that are congruent, the triangles are similar by angle angle. So we can write our similarity statement now. We have triangle FEG is similar to triangle and let's see what matches up. So matching up with F must be angle M. Matching up with E must be angle L. And matching up with G is N. So those are the right order of the letters. So triangle FEG is similar to triangle L MLN by angle angle similarity. All right, let's go to example B. Determine if the following two triangles are similar. If so, write the similarity statement. So same idea here. I can see already that we have one pair of angles that are congruent. So if we can show another pair of angles are congruent, we'll be all set. So far we know angle E is congruent to angle B. So let's find the missing angle in this triangle, angle C. So we're going to do 180 minus 81 minus 60. And we get 39 degrees. So as opposed to example A, in this case, there are, are not two pairs of angles that are congruent because I have 39 degrees here, which doesn't match with the 40 degrees over here. So these two triangles cannot be similar because there's no way that there will be two pairs of angles that are congruent. So our answer would be not similar. So it's true that if two triangles don't satisfy AA similarity, it means there's no way for them to be them to be similar. All right, and let's look at example C. Are the following triangles similar? If so, write the similarity statement. So this problem looks a little different because we don't have any angles actually marked with measurements, but we do know some pairs of angles that have to be congruent. So for example, this angle, angle ABE, must be congruent to angle CBD because they're vertical angles, and vertical angles are always congruent. So we know, even though we don't know how many degrees those angles are, we know they have to be congruent. The only thing that was marked in this whole picture was the little arrows to show that the lines are parallel. And whenever you see parallel lines, you should always think of angles because parallel lines mean alternate interior angles are congruent, corresponding angles are congruent, and lots of other things about angles. So always think, oh, I bet there's angles in there that are congruent. So let's look for some alternate interior angles. This angle right here, angle A, is alternate interior with angle D. So that means that those two angles have to be congruent. And already we have two pairs of angles that are congruent, so that means that the two triangles must be similar. So we can write our similarity statement. Triangle ABE is similar to triangle D, because D was congruent with A, B, 
and then C. And our reason is AA similarity.